Hi, Rick. Yay. How are you doing, buddy? Rick, what years was Corey town coordinator? It was before I got here. I got okay. here in 2002, and they got... Duncan was in charge then. 9-11, yeah. probably she was in charge, <laughs> they, mostly. They, they put her on oh, in the yeah. day of everything. It wasn't not, just the it's comedy Only store. one woman can fix this. <laughs> and she said, don't even check them. Let them through the airport. <laughs> then, why are we letting her We're decide? <laughs> The only I'm a princess. <laughs> like she called herself Princess Corey. What? Stop it. Still what? Is I was gonna say she's still phone. Princess Corey. She's still a princess. Was she? Person. How early was she Princess Corey? She well, from the minute I met her. She so represents the her. South with the finest of. Yeah. What, so where is she from? Louisiana. Oh, okay, okay. Nolens. Okay. Nolens. Slidell, oh my God. Will. They got married in New Orleans. He was a Mexican from El Paso. She's from New Slidell. Mm -hmm. At the. We're not on, right? At the, it doesn't matter. I no, think we, I've told can, it before. You, okay. Uh, I'm still holding Crystal Geyser, so Brian won't <laughs> let any of this on air. <laughs> We're shills for Crystal Geyser. <laughs> Huge geyser heads. That's my favorite. <laughs> Huge geyser heads. Honestly, I We're was, all geyser. I was big time into Thurster, and then the comedy store... <laughs> They said, no, no, it's Literally, too cheap. you're a geyser guy. I'm a geyser I'm a guy, guy now. I'm don't a geyser guy. Don't be such a queer. People, when they hand you the Fiji, I just, I literally just pour it out on the ground. <laughs> Not in my country. Not on my watch, bitches. <laughs> I want to go um, back, Princess Laura. Let, you should. She Somebody gave herself that name. Eleanor and I once did a random gig oh, yeah, where these people were playing... Or they play, they're playing cornhole on the beach or something. Yeah, it was my first time seeing it and witnessing or knowing about Oh my god, it's mm -hmm. the, it is the most redneck shit in the entire world. That was my entire college experience was cornhole. I, I mean, it's very popular, but this guy was like, "We're gonna do a show, dude. And you Jonathan guys are gonna be Picard. the hosts." And we're like, he's "All right." Be a host. So we, doing we show up at this thing. It's like he's paying us <laughs> enough money that you're like, "All right, I'll show up." Fine. So I go, and he's just, it's like a setup. He's got like a guy in a UPS, one of his buddies in a UPS outfit, and one of his buddies in a FedEx outfit. Jonathan Picard is a bizarro yeah. comic. And, and, and this dude has something to do with Shark Week. That's yeah, we all don't I know. know about it was him. vaguely connected yeah. to Shark Week. Picard always works. Yeah. He used to bring us sneakers. The yeah. whole, the whole, all of us. I like got this guy. Sounds like a hustler. Unbelievable. Yeah. He, he paid us, and then a couple weeks later, I received a pair of Ray Bans in the <laughs> mail. Oh I was like, I don't know what this is, but for your trouble. But I show I up. So many I show up at at the shoot to <laughs> announce cornhole from somebody's balcony. Yeah, we were in a window. Me and Rick were sitting in a window. They were playing. It was Venice Beach or yeah. Santa Monica E. Yeah, it's right. Forget, somewhere right on the edge. In between. Yeah. And then Princess Corey is there. And I'm like, what the fuck, fuck is Princess doing? Corey doing here? And she's like, oh, I'm wardrobe, sugar. <laughs> I'm like, wardrobe? I got you this gig, sugar. <laughs> wardrobe? <laughs> you guys change outfits. Oh, <laughs> Your shark costumes are running. Uh, still texting. And they never gave, I, I was never given an outfit. <laughs> no. There's no wardrobe change. No one did our makeup. They put us in a window and I got sun poisoning on one side Stop of my it. face. Like those pictures you see at truckers. Yeah. You know, but it was a, <laughs> It was brutal. That was brutal. Actually, Eleanor as a trucker might be. <laughs> that that, that could be the eastbound and down. <laughs> Do that I need you a truck, though? So funny. That would be such well, a good You don't even show. need to worry about the truck. No, I, I got the mouth and the it's car. Literally, every episode is you <laughs> offending male truckers. Yes. Oh, my God. It's just a full role reversal. <laughs> I show up in those showers oh, in the middle of the country. Hey, boys. <laughs> Let me see your number. What number are you? Uh, I got your number. <laughs> what is the? What do they call prostitutes that work at truck stops? They have. There's like a specific name for them. Gods. Oh, uh, angels. Lot lizards. Oh, lot, lot lizards. lizards. Yeah. She's like really good friends with all the lot lizards. She's getting the tea. But, <laughs> lot lizards. Isn't that That's Fox? great. <laughs> I really like it. Where they come up with that? I don't know. I think it's the scaly. <laughs> I imagine <laughs> that it's the skin. Yeah. It's got to be scaly related. Scaly girls. Is that scabies? Like scaly girls. That's yes, untreated. Uh, scabies. Close. It all. Intertwined. I ain't worried about a woman with poison oak. <laughs> I'm <laughs> these actually are, immune. I'm th immune. These are lonely highways. <laughs> Doctors are baffled. <laughs> I could take an itch or two. It'll keep me up. <laughs> oh my God. He gets crap so he can stay awake while he's driving. <laughs> I got a 12 hour drive oh here. My God. I mean, have I'm you been, have you been studying for this role? You were born to be a trucker. <laughs> I want to be a trucker. <laughs> oh, Lord. A trucker, trucker. I, I was talking to my dad the other day. He goes, are you on one of those uh, walkie-talkies, girl? <laughs> I go, 
No, it's a CB, Dad. It's a CB. Damn. I'm with. Call it in. <laughs> Call he calls cell phones walkie-talkies. That's so great. Oh, the typewriter oh, man. I mean, I, yeah, yeah. this is a guy you can count on. <laughs> we used to be a proper country. <laughs> those you want one of those walkie-talkies? Go, Rick, girl. You're on that walkie-talkie. That's why it's hard to hear you. <laughs> You know what was an annoying era was when the, those people had the walkie-talkie cell phone combos. Oh, oh we chirp. The, the chirp. Yes, yeah. I do remember Vaguely that. Vaguely remember when that. When I, I had a day job, I was a runner at like a post-production <laughs> house, and there was a bunch of dudes that had that, and it was all day long. I remember that, I remember that sound. And you're like, oh. Boost Mobile. But yeah, my Boost dad had one of those. Mobile. Yeah. It and if you this. had it, it you were so poor. Like, yeah, it's, and you, yeah. didn't you literally communicate by, <laughs> it, when it was walkie talkie it? technology. It literally was. Yeah. A, like a, yeah. It felt like a true walkie talkie. It was long enough ago that it was like part of it, like, this won't count on your phone plan. It was like, people were worried about that. <laughs> we're on a whole different wave. Yeah, like, like, wow, okay. <laughs> I saw a guy at a. So great. A, oh, a terrible era. Yeah. <laughs> What's all this? That's. Oh. This this yep. is just the just making circles. No, it's the oh. it's it's the controlling the cameras. He's making oh, a he's making a it. graph about who's being funniest at any given time. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's, 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 a, a, it's, yeah, a, it's a laugh a meter. <laughs> While we're at it, wanna we, we should introduce the guest. Maybe. Well, how dare you? Oh, how yeah. dare you tell us how to do this podcast? Are, are we going to have to introduce the voice in the dark after that? I mean, how many people do we need to introduce? Why don't you come in? Are we not enough? <laughs> we're never enough, Rick. You know that. I, it felt like a and the rest type of sitcom introduction, <laughs> and they were just going to say that like, don't mention who. What it did is. they do? Who did they do that to on Gilligan's Island? Who got and the rest? Uh, it uh, was, I don't. Uh, the professor and Marianne. Marianne. Yeah, and it used to just be and the rest. Like, then, like, oh, really? Uh, yes. For like two seasons. And then their part of their contract was like, and also, if you could just say our name since it fits into the song better anyway. <laughs> it fits better. And it's like, there were and eight the, of us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Professor and Marianne. Yeah. yeah. Previously, that was just. And the rest. And the rest. And the rest. No. Oh, <laughs> like, my God. They started listing them off. And at some point, the guy writing the song was like, this is too many. <laughs> what the fuck? They're going to turn else? it off if we say two more. <laughs> it was only six, right? It was Two, four, was it? six. It was Skipper and Gilligan oh. and the rich people. Don't they, oh, say, they say it in the yeah. song? Yeah, yeah, seven. There's seven. seven. Yeah, that, seven. Yeah. The hot so they redhead. they went through five before saying, <laughs> and then "Sorry, one. two of the main characters." <laughs> Who were very interesting and like advance the, the plot in almost every like, episode. Yeah. <laughs> they have a lot going yeah, on. Yeah, actually. Always, Marianne was the dark haired one. Yeah, the hot. Mm -hmm. She was really hot. Oh no, wait, who was the redhead? Wasn't were they she all hot? That was Ginger. She was Ginger was the movie star, and then Marianne was, Marianne just like was girl next she door. The hot girl yeah. Next yeah, door. yeah, yeah, brunette. That's all they mean by that. Yeah. That's all they ever mean by that. She has, bad, she the has bad brown guy. hair. She was yeah, the evil yeah. one. <laughs> the bitch. The one who was in. There was a very an, there was a very angelic one uh, <laughs> named Ginger who had great ideas, and then there was this evil one named. Marianne, and she just tried to ruin men's lives. <laughs> Mousy brown hair. Yeah. yeah. Just a pure... <laughs> there she Do is. Do we have a plain Jane? Shoulders, though, you could put to work. Ooh, Bale and hay. Sturdy gal. This milk, is her now? <laughs> milk fed. <laughs> this is her now? She this great, one? actually. Do yeah, Dawn Wild. Tina doesn't... Uh, there she is. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. There is nothing pornographic about this. No. Is, it not, a is that whipped cream on her They were not trying to a... allure men with this. <laughs> this was the one who wasn't hot. That, hold on. That was Anne, <laughs> and, this is Anne the rest? I wonder God, if... God, those uh, were the days. Show me the rest. <laughs> Hollywood was beautiful back then. <laughs> Do you think that Epstein watched this and was like, I got an idea? That girl looks 11. Mm -hmm. That yeah. is a young we woman. We need a lot of Mary Anns what, on, uh, on this island. <laughs> Guys, what is the original Epstein Island? <laughs> guys, what do you guys mean by that? I don't know, Rick. Oh, I didn't say anything. I Let me really check heard the logs and see it. if you're in there, huh? <laughs> Bring up the logs. Log Hold on, check. there's logs. <laughs> it's a segment y'all do, log check. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, but it actually just cuts to a guy chopping wood. And yeah, then we have to guess what kind of log he. <laughs> I like that. That's Burl Is that right there. Cinder. <laughs> mm. well, I'm gonna be out because I don't know anything. Oh, about look at that. Oh, wood Zsa Zsa Gabor's listed. Uh, her daughter, legendary, paid regular here at the comedy store. Oh yeah, Are you that serious? Francesca one. Hilton. Francesca oh my Hilton. God, was she funny? Oh, boy, was Hilarious. she not. <laughs> when it came to. Not even really funny to laugh at. 
Francesca Hilton comes to mind. <laughs> and yeah, she's gone now, but listen, her niece is her my smell idol. <laughs> will never leave. No, that smell stays. That smell stays pungent. It's around. Let me ask you a question. She would always come over at <laughs> the worst like time, the worst times, just ju and and just start a conversation. And I'd be like, Francesca, I have to bring these drinks out. I really have to. Yeah. And Those, I. She kind of looked like um, Chet in Weird Science when they turn stop. him into that monster. Stop. And it's just like this farting ghoul. She did look like the kid nobody wanted, which is actually true. Yeah. So that's that's <laughs> that that's, un sense. that's unfortunate. But Those that women, shows. what you just did, the women that grab like that, yeah, out of nowhere, that just kind of arrest you <gasps> with their that yeah, yeah. scares the shit out of me. <laughs> Can I talk to you for one second? It's like, oh, who yeah, died? And she would do it. Come on, where are you going? And I'm, I'm like, I got drinks. I'm like, uh, Francesca. And I would always just tell her how stunning she looked. Oh, my God. I my love this. God, you look stunning You're tonight. Ravishing and tonight. She would go, I've got my eye on Brody Stevens. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she my God, God, did she? I'm we both saying... like sports. <laughs> and, and I could, yeah, I could see that working. I'm not saying that's why he took an early exit, Stop but. It. On the list. He was escaping. I did tell her. It was him. up there. She's got her eye on you. <laughs> Screwly scroll, we could, Francesca. We could sit front row at Clippers games. Yeah. I'm like, man, oh, I really? hope that happens. I don't think that's going to carry it, Francesca. I don't think that's going to carry it. That's right up Brody's alley. <laughs> she was not, but but she was also just Clippers. really kind of a terrible person. Oh, I love yeah. this. Always second best. Clippers games, Francesca. Oh. Yeah. Not Paris. You know, whatever. Not <laughs> The sin. Wrong Hilton. It was part of a new documentary called The Wrong Hilton. That's what she was shooting the entire time. It was a bitch she was doing. <laughs> and then it turned out we could just do it about every member of the family. And oh, they're all don't terrible. you dare. Paris is my idol. Do you love her? I do. Oh, my God. I think she's so funny. I'm obsessed with her. Wait, book? She have a book? I don't know. Is it a pop Eleanor up? can't read. Don't make her feel bad. <laughs> we literally just talked about books for like 20 minutes. <laughs> we Is that did, true? We did. Yeah. we did. We were talking about books. Well, wait. First of all, we have to introduce our guests or we're going to get in trouble. They're not going to. Yep. We're going to have to re-sign our contracts if we don't do can't it right. Can't they do a reverse Google search or something? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> My God. All right. Demand. Who is demands. this goddamn guest? <laughs> Guys, welcome to the know. Comedy Store Podcast. Hi, I'm I'm Rick Ingram. I'm Eleanor Kerrigan. And we got we got Laura Peak with us. Hi Woo! guys. Hello, hello then. Very happy to be here. This is already one of the best conversations I've ever had. So exciting. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, we were talking about books. We I've been reading uh and I've been cutting alongside of reading it is uh Sam Talent's um Running the Light. Have you read you this? Read? I don't even know what we're talking Great about. Great book to self-harm to. You don't want to read it. It's okay. Literally, it's I, I can feel the noose around my neck. Nine, like I'm halfway through it and I'm... Nice. I'm actually, yeah, it's tough. It's, it's pro-comedy? To it's brutal. Pro it's like, comedy. yeah, like a fictionalized <laughs> thing about like a an old headliner... And it is truly the saddest. Yeah, like like somebody in the eighties that like it was on the Tonight Show like mm -hmm. twelve times. I love when they say so that all times. Of them. So yes. all the yeah. all the people who are still alive, <laughs> so, you don't survive until your sixties. Everybody knows that. Oh my God. This story is as old as time. Uh, have you ever had to bring up Argus Hamilton? Many times, and I'm always like, "How many times did you do this?" Yeah, because he always gives you that. that is, every time they mention how many times he did it, do you get? I like laugh. Do you a get little. the the kiss of respect from Argus? Sure, oh, she's yeah. Southern. Are yeah. you Southern? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from Tennessee. I've That's got, it. I've yeah, gotten yeah, the big, I've gotten the big so thing on the lucky. cheek. Mm -hmm. So feels, lucky. It feels good. It really did. You I never she, know how you're going to feel about it. Well, she's from the she's south. She's clearly a Southern I Democrat. They all agreed me with myself, Bill Clinton, and a young Barry Switzer. Wait a minute, taking her out on a date we were in a private jet have you heard this joke <laughs> Don't do wait this it's one. a joke it's not a reality oh okay <laughs> he is still unbelievable yeah had amazing had a not great set for the first time i saw really? the other night and spectacular oh my god tell him you what? saw old argus well I'm what sure. happened was <laughs> uh, as predicted it. the moment he got into his new oj stuff oh. the the curse the you don't do OJ jokes curse oh, caught really? him. They're like, listen, you might have been crushing for three straight years, but not tonight. You don't bring OJ into this world. <laughs> oh my God! Wait, post mortem? It was the post day he died, was it? Okay. or the next day, but still, the, the crowd was mostly yeah. like, yeah, we don't really know who that is because we're twenty seven. They're all young out there. These oh yeah, guys. they don't care. They don't. Yeah. They, they really just don't, don't care. Like, like when Argus talks about how much he likes millennial women, which again, 
Brava. Brava. Brava, for uh, sure. He, so much of the crowd <laughs> literally is looking at him. They're that. looking at him like, oh, so you're into older chicks? Yeah, 100%. Because Those they're women like, in their 40s. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, millennials, huh? He has it involved. As if he doesn't know what Gen Z is yet. Somebody's going to gonna keep, tell him what Gen no, Z is. No, you can't tell him because then he's going to change his opinion. He's going to be like, well, I like dating Gen Z women. And everyone's going to be like, boo. <laughs> These 17 year old millennials well. running around. These legal millennials are uncomfortable. The worst these part about all these women. <laughs> worst part about millennials is picking them up from middle school. Good to be here, everybody. <laughs> that voice is impeccable. It's a really good impression. <laughs> That's funny because there's a, a, in this book, he's like about to follow this comic and he's like, I didn't get the comic's references because he's young and the crowd got him. So that might fuck me. Like in his, he was in his mm -hmm. head so bad. Mm -hmm. Like they're not going to get me because I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. But they're all loving it's it. Crushing with that. Oh all, yeah, my heart was like. I see, I this guy is an unbelievable character. In any way. <laughs> I should just start right there. There's nothing about this that not is not believable. Real. So I'm, you're crowd. telling me this guy is just out there crushing throughout the '80s, right? And apparently, whoever wrote this has never met any of those comedians from the <laughs> 80s because if you speak to any one of them they will assure you that they are still better than the guys who <laughs> are doing well right now so really and they the us? only reason they're not getting stage time is because you know there's a bunch of political bullshit man. Oh, that's right Whoa, culture that's right and so yeah. it's a, it's a ageism. endless thing. Yeah. Ageism. There's no way that one of these guys isn't still so delusional that he would be hearing these references and be like, well, if they, if they like that bull crap, <laughs> just wait until I hit them. <laughs> I'm going to come I'm out crush. there. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna do some funny. I have a whole funny thing I do about Garfunkel. <laughs> They're gonna love that. They're gonna kill. That's gonna crush. He does it. He thinks now, he's just a now. We're talking second fiddle. <laughs> What's the? Oh, that's a catchphrase uh, I do. What's the one Argus? Oh, Oingo Boingo. <laughs> Is that right? Is that the one? <laughs> so many. It's, what's important is as long as it makes no sense and it's a reference that. Only thirty percent of people would understand. That's it. that's the key to a good Argus. Yeah, I love that. Got, what is it? What any other catchphrases? <laughs> good to be here. I don't. <laughs> Mitch has a great show for you. <laughs> this uh, next young pup. <laughs> yeah, okay, yes. I got to, up here. <laughs> I got to watch him bring up Andrew Schultz, and <laughs> we had to. Uh, I almost. That was it. I'm glad I wasn't drinking. Nah. -uh. I saw that. No, -uh, really? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What did Schultz... We were backstage. I'm dead. I didn't know that, what that was going to do to me. That was the that was the name I wanted you to say. <laughs> <laughs> of Dude, all the people. The next the night... This guy's flagrant. What? The, the next That's night, it. Schultz is doing the sold-out forum. Yeah, right. of course. So he stops in just to do a spot. Sure. And Argus finishes, and then Schultz stands right by the curtain in the main room, like, ready to go. And I'm like, you're going to need to wait a minute. And he's like, what? And I'm like, there's a lot that goes into the, this introduction. He's like, oh, what's he going to say? And I'm like, it has nothing to do with you. Yeah, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, what? And I'm like, he's going to go through the whole thing. And then you could be doing, anybody yeah. right now. He's like, oh, okay. And then he literally starts going on. And, and they, what an impact on the club they have. <laughs> not since Mitzi Shore. <laughs> Emily LaFord, everybody! <laughs> and he like gives this whole thing, and then he's like, he like looks at me, I'm like, that's the talent coordinator. And then he's like, oh, okay. All right, okay, I'm following. And then he like <laughs> looks like he's getting ready, and I'm like, it's I not know. you yet. <laughs> and then he's like, what? And I go, there's another one. And then he's like, also, you guys might have seen him down at the Whiskey A Go Go. <laughs> Rockabelly legend up in the booth, Danny Lucas, everybody. And he's like, I'm like, that's the sound guy. And he's like, he does intros for the sound guy? Like, he does. And then he got it. Oh, this guy, he is just doing great out there on the internet. Oh my God. Oh my just, God. He's got a podcast. <laughs> I got this one's you. 
Me and, me and Martindale trying to prep them for. Oh, that's so good. You don't have to, you don't have to be so excited. You got a little bit of time. <laughs> Relax. Go over your notes. Oh, and so he didn't get the young pup though. Mitch no, raised I, him. I don't young think Mitch yeah. raised him as a young pup. Yeah, as a Mitch young didn't raise pup. him. No, no, she that's didn't. the problem. He's one of these dogs that grew up somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. In the streets. <laughs> one of our adopted dogs. <laughs> that's a, it starts pointing out every server in the club. One of my favorite servers. Y'all give it up for Morgan Mazel, everybody. <laughs> it's so important. A lot of people don't realize how important the kudos are. Yeah, yeah it's true. It's true. Oh, but here comes Dana Land. Dana oh. Land's been here since uh, 1998. <laughs> He's so important. It's so great. To I really love my it. happiness I exclusively. Getting to see that exactly. all the time. Yeah, I, he he really does. He is partial to Southern women. It's kind of funny. We were, I mean, we were immediately very endeared to I each bet. other. I met him for the first time like not that long ago, and I was like, well, here's here's Daddy. What, <laughs> daddy? what color suit was he wearing? Now? I, I believe he was wearing a, a, a like a tan, mm -hmm. kind of a sandy Ooh, tan. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was lovely. What kind and of creepy questions did he ask you? What did he, he had his hand on the small of my back there for a Hold minute. Hold on a second. He was doing fine. I didn't feel weird. Uh, <laughs> and I got it. Right, so, so she I is, was okay with this. She is not she is not included then in his blanket. I'm sorry, me too. <laughs> Facebook post from a few years ago. I don't claim that. I don't claim that. If I ever did, I'm just, this is one big apology. Did, he did not do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my fucking God. But if you didn't feel uncomfortable, then you, you don't get to be in on it. Okay, I don't, I yeah. have a class action no lawsuit. I'm not no. getting 575 no, you're sent to me not. on Venmo by Argus Hamilton. You get 1%. I don't know how to do Venmo, but you got I'll, 1 I'll, I'll give it to you. Here's the, a 20. The <laughs> Great Ben Gazette. <laughs> It's the fourth highest circulated newspaper in Great Bend. That's and, amazing. Uh, Great Bend. Pick it up at your local fire station if you're in the greater Great Bend area or local elementary school nurse's office. Good to be here. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. It's really uncanny. It's really it's unbelievable. It's specific. It's uncomfortable. Unbelievable. I've never heard it before. It's really good. Oh, really? No, I've never oh, heard him do it. God, we make him do it like well, a jukebox. You, it's a sin. You, you missed about 15 years of it, <laughs> relentlessly bothering everybody. I gotta catch up. Yeah. <laughs> it's, new, it's all new to me, baby. <laughs> when you, let me ask you this. Like, when you heard about the comedy story, did you immediately think Argus Hamilton? He's such a staple here, or did you? You were like, I think from the time, like de maybe not when I heard it, but when I moved here and started coming, I was like, well, there's the guy because I would hear people intro him oh. every time you're in the main room. You're like, who the fuck? So I saw that like several times. I was like, well, he's the, he's he's obviously the king. Around. He's the god. Yeah, <laughs> we got princesses, that's, that's, we got kings. I he, love is, he is legitimately the queen slayer. <laughs> the wink. Mitts. That one's for you, Mitts. <laughs> Still got it. Jesus, Argus. You don't have to tell everybody. Okay? Anyway, I've been telling the merch people a new shirt idea. Rock hard for Mitzi. And <laughs> Jesus. So far, no one is biting. Argus is a genius, isn't he? Greg <laughs> Eagles is here. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. That's so good. James Lee Reeves is in the house. <laughs> There's so much, like, it's like you're not letting anything out. It's got a Dr. Exactly. Phil quality to it. <laughs> you got to hold it back always. <laughs> you can't just unleash that on video. No. <laughs> the internet would riot. You do it, he goes one register down and just breaks into song. And that's what it feels like. It's the gonna... internet would riot if you let like, it all out. We would go viral and that would ruin my yeah. anonymity. We which... prefer... Being completely. We're the only podcast that hopes to not be seen. Oh, yeah. Oh, I we like that. We must stay in the shadows. I yeah. like that. I like that byline. I think y'all yeah, stick Laura with that. likes, she listens to podcasts. Though. Is that true? That's impressive. Yes, I do. That's I'm, good. I, it's, I, it's, I haven't ever. Uh, really? I I'm can't. meeting more and more people who are like, it's never been a thing for me. No. I, I will say uh, they do those shorts on YouTube sometimes. I see those. Yeah, the clips. yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they're yeah. like, yeah, I'm on social seconds. media. I see the clips. <laughs> how, yeah. How, how much are you, how much time do y'all spend on social media? D don't look at my phone. I, I'm, I'm terrified. I may get arrested. I, <laughs> um, it's all young men. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't press charges. I like them. <laughs> I do two hours on MySpace every morning. <laughs> I hit up Friendster as soon as I wake up. 
<laughs> do a couple different independent blogs. One of them's okay. about uh, lettuce around town where you can buy good lettuce, good lettuce. crisp lettuce. <laughs> crisp. <laughs> do a whole nother thing strictly on uh, workout <laughs> knee highs. It's a very wow. niche market of sock. <laughs> yeah. But a lot of people don't mind putting on, lacing up a nice uh Beige sock. Sure. Put it up to the knee. Throw on a pair of khakis and just and a head sweater out. vest style. Sweater vest. Style. I've seen him running in a sweater vest. Oh my god! Are you serious? High socks and a sweater vest on uh, Sunset Boulevard in Beverly Hills. And if there's one thing the ladies always say, they say it's not a handsome face unless it looks like a melting candle. <laughs> <laughs> Good to be here. <laughs> Seeing that face come up to you and doing the, oh, I mean, a, it, a big it selfie feels good, on your right? cheek. It's great. It feels It so does good. remind me of being in the South. It's like actually endearing. It's like have Uncle you, Argus, right? Have yeah. you had to bring him up or he brings you up? I, or, the only time we have been back to back, I brought him up. Yeah. And it was wonderful. Do you, do you get nervous like working on his intro? We, oh, 100%. Because then you're, I'm like, well, I'm, I'm thinking about my set exclusively. And then I'm like, here's seven other things. <laughs> and the one thing you think is going to happen is like, I'm going to do well. And then I'm going to be like riding the high or do terribly. And, and it just forget. like slips out of my mind. Yeah, just yeah. forget. I think I got like 79% of it right. I left. I certainly left a few things out. As soon as you got two things right, he was like, oh, she's this, interested. This is my girl. <laughs> Daddy's home. <laughs> well, she listened. I knew it. That's a good sign. I'll give her Tennessee, that. Tennessee, that's easy to catch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm reeling her in, boys. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. How long did you do comedy in Tennessee before you came here? I did comedy. I did. I started in 2016, and then I wow. did it. Moved here in 2019. Baby. Yeah. Like, Baby. Yeah, a little baby. I moved here in 2019, and I was like cross country from Nashville, and was like, all right, let's exclusively do stand up. And then the pandemic hit like two months later. <gasps> that was very funny. It was very funny timing. Is it? Yeah, it, I have to laugh or I will kill myself. <laughs> okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Just trying to figure that out. Okay. Leaving like a very chill, like nice big apartment in Tennessee and then going to like a, a studio a in Koreatown. <laughs> For two and a half years and not doing anything. It was wild. But wow. I, yeah, it was really, really You stuck time. it out, though. Did stick it out. Every day, me and my guy would look at each other and be like, is it just time to go home? And we didn't. And I'm very glad for that. Is I'm, he a comic as well? He's not. He's about to graduate law school. My sweet Mazel man. Falls. I know. Uh, come on, yeah, come you know, on, come on. He's that. going into public interest. We'll never have money. Oh, it doesn't matter. God, what an idiot. <laughs> as long as it's not comedy. <laughs> you can both talk about how you don't get paid for gigs. <laughs> 100%. 100%. <laughs> I got stiffed again. I got boned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I started comedy, or I started comedy two years into us dating. Okay. So I never had, I oh. never dated a comic, never like slept with a comic. I'm so glad. Oh, I did all. Okay. That. Well, no wonder you why didn't they get come to experience a lot of really fun mistakes. She's fresh. <laughs> yeah, get her, guys. Fresh me. She's fresh. Well. <laughs> oh, my God, Argus. He's back. Jesus, Argus. <laughs> if Bruce Baum hasn't seen her yet, then there's still a chance. You think she's got a thing for a guy in diapers? <laughs> like, she loves baby man. <laughs> oh my God. Who doesn't? <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Robert Townsend is here. Uh, so is good. he on tonight? I have to see I him do comedy so. now. I oh, have to listen. I to think him. he met Robert Townsend. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, so. a Meteor Man might be Yay, showing somewhere. Yay, man! Let's do it. Oh God! Uh, you're one of the few people that. Our friend Lucy was like, oh, yes. my friend Laura's moving out there. You got to see her. You'll like her. And I had to have that conversation with her. I'm like, Lucy? we've been friends for a while, Lucy. Are we really? Are we doing are we gonna this? Say How are we doing? I'm, you're not going to say she's really funny. She gets really good laughs. I'm going to like her. <laughs> she's like, yeah, I think you'll like her. <laughs> oh, damn. I and, slipped right under the wire. And then I, didn't, I never saw you perform for like a year and a half. But every once I see your name, I'm like, oh, I'm going to check out her set. And then I wouldn't see it. <laughs> Hell yeah, right? And, like, oh. and then when I finally saw it, I'm like, God damn it, she's good. <laughs> I yeah. do like it. Damn Fuck. that, Lucy. <laughs> you send her the did, angriest to text, text of the entire like, world. All right, I caught her set tonight. She's good. <laughs> I You're hate right. this bitch. I, have, I like her. Don't, I hate you. Don't ever send me another suggestion again. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy is not willy-nilly with her praise. No, though. she's no. not. That's she how we a, became friends. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met her, and then, I mean, maybe... Five minutes into meeting her at the airport, she was talking shit about people I knew. And I'm so like, good. Oh, this chick is great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keen and discerning lady. <laughs> yeah. She really she really tells it like it is. 
but she's and she'd be great too. Like every once in a while, I'd get a text, so it'd just be like, "As a human, what do you think of?" And then I'm like, oh, very man. specific with the human. She was like, I, I don't need to know what you think comedically. We both know what you think comedically. <laughs> so funny. So she's just checking on personality yeah. at that point. Yeah. Just wants like, is it okay to be around this person or are they a serial killer? Right, I love it. Right, right, right. Not funny, of course. Yeah. Decent hang. I yeah. like that. I like that yeah. question. <laughs> Good person. I mean, as long as we can talk to them, you know, as and not make me fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, 100%. God, That's I love true. it. true. Yeah, she runs a tight ship down there. I she's love that. Great. I just went home for a couple weeks and it's like damn do you it, headline the uh, well they just opened their like their their lab they're opening a lab oh killer. Yeah, right next door or okay. it's about to open but they, it was like the start of the festival i went down for family stuff and just did spots at zany's but yeah i mean yeah. it's my favorite it's just right where i started she and i actually the reason i know her at all i got like fired from my first job out of college and i a but it was like before i ever even thought about doing stand-up and a buddy of mine was like tearing tickets at zany's like working the box office and I was like, I don't know where to go. And I worked there. And it was like right when she started. Oh, so I okay. like worked in the box office alongside her as like a baby booker. Oh, wow. And then started years later. And so it's like real day one situation with her. That place is very much home. What percentage of you got stuck watching comedy and was like, oh, fuck, I could do better than this? That is right. <laughs> <laughs> that is 100% what happened. Really? I, I guess. Yeah. Because, I mean, and not like not like massive acts. You know, it's like an A-club. There's like a billion great people. Yeah. And, that, and that was very inspiring. But then you would see shows sometimes and you're like, it can't be as hard as that looks. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. I'm like, I've seen it done well and y'all are making it look impossible. I think yeah, yeah, I yeah. could do better yeah, than that. I, yeah, it's true. I always wanted to do it. And I literally had a conversation with someone when I was 18. And they're like, dude, I just did comedy. And I got third place. In my mind, I was like, fuck. What I got the fuck? You're the dumbest motherfucker yeah, I've ever I mean, met in my life. Yeah. Like, dude, you're not even remotely funny. <laughs> yeah, Third place. In my mind, I'm like, so I could just show up bronze? <laughs> that's not bad. I'm starting bronze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I just crushed open mics in Kansas City for like a year and a half. I'm just like, dude, I am about ready to be so fucking famous. Oh, wow. I love it. <laughs> Moved to LA, open mic, very different experience. Oh, totally. Big difference here. I was oh, like, yeah. where's the oh, hundred yeah. people? I don't understand. <laughs> Why is that people? homeless guy drinking his own pee right now? <laughs> oh, funny. And oh, he's going up before me? God <laughs> damn it. He's crushing. <laughs> because I wouldn't give him a drink. He drank uh. his own pee. That's why. <laughs> yeah, there's more Tonight. alcohol in this anyway. <laughs> Oh, my Jesus, God. Jesus, man. <laughs> Your set was fantastic, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nikki, tell me about doing mescaline before your yeah, set yeah, tonight. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. Colorado. <laughs> Yeah, we have a lot of characters. I love this yeah. so much. But the, you guys you didn't are very do the, good at voices. Oh, I'm not. It's he insanely is. good. Your Mitzi is unbelievable. You, well, Mitzi is... That's, that's because, because, she, that's, that's that's because she actually... Me. <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> Calm down, Argus. <laughs> is LaMare here? <laughs> yeah, my hair looks like shit, huh? <laughs> Okay. When, when I showed up here, the lady who did Mitzi's hair was getting spots regularly, and it was <laughs> it was a sinking ship. I just remember going, wait, why, why does this lady get spots? And I think Eleanor actually was like, oh, she's great. She does Mitzi's hair. And yeah, it's like, you it. sell out. Yeah. She wasn't a comic, so she no, had no... No, I wasn't a comic at all. Didn't I didn't give a fuck about working. any of it. She was, I was the waitress. waitress. Okay, yes. She basically ran the club. And I was but... Mitzi's assistant for a long time. No so it was way. like we worked a lot together. Like, I didn't care about... I didn't want to be a comic. And you're... Yeah, yeah who cares to talk shit when yeah. you're just, like, doing your job? So, wait, what year did you start... 93. This 93. is I'm interviewing you. You're not. I'm, I'm sorry. I know. I love it. I want to know. I want to know everybody's thing. Uh, 93. Okay. And I worked here till 2005. Oh then left God. and came back a year and a half later as a comic because I'm mentally ill. Oh my God. Very similar experience though, where you're like seeing it every day and it's like, oh, I didn't yeah. have any. It, but I didn't feel that at all. No. No. Like she, any but, impulse to try it at the time. She was though. Like when I started working here, <laughs> it, it was just one. There weren't any customers, so right. the only conversations. Was this the dead, the dead, dead zone. Zone. Yeah. Okay. The only conversations were employees. But right. We all just generally agreed that Eleanor was funnier than all the comments. Oh, we would just talk shit. shit. But yeah, 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 yeah. It was. It was yeah. You know, it was roast battle. Yeah. In the but kitchen. just conversationally. Oh, I love it. I so love it. So it was just it. people talking shit all the time. And Eleanor also, <laughs> we mentioned sometimes, had a sawed off 
baseball bat in her car. Okay. She occasionally Here's threatens to beat people with. <laughs> Let's go, Eleanor. I love you. <laughs> I love to learn about you. Get out of control. Sure. And they need to be put back in place, mm-hmm. especially people who throw popcorn at my car. Yeah. Oh my god. It's a, it's I don't even know who that guy was. Yeah. It Sometimes was, I see his face a, there though. There wasn't What'd even a personal fight between it. It was just a guy who was a little crazy throwing popcorn at a car as it pulled out of the comedy store <laughs> lot, <laughs> and she got out. And it, at this point, I was a comic or no? I forget. I think you had just started being a comic. You, I, you, so you were like you were a regular, you're still living. Yeah, yeah. you were a regular because you're <laughs> parking like, I feel a lot. It even now. <laughs> and she, um, I, I will say this: it it was far beyond any anger Joe Pesci has ever shown. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Exactly what it's, happened. I mean, just flip the fuck out. I don't out. know who he was, but I black out quick. I, I have issues. We were, okay, we were literally we standing in a lot just talking general <laughs> shit about no one in particular. <laughs> she got in her car, said she had to leave. She's backing out. I literally just see what must have been seven or eight pieces Little of pieces. popcorn hit the side of Eleanor's car and then door swings The way open. he threw it, though. The way he was like, yeah. Yeah. Was and and you, bitch. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Fuck yeah. you, There was girl. malice yeah. in his heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was throwing a lot more than eight pieces yeah, of popcorn. I think, he even, I think he even said, fuck you, white girl. Oh, I was like, what the fuck are you calling white, bitch? See, and I didn't, like, <laughs> I didn't see any of this. All I saw was popcorn, Eleanor's car stop. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, it's probably a comic. We're all friends. We do stupid shit. And then she gets out of her car. Walks to the back, pops the trunk, and I'm just like, what is she doing? And she pulls off a sawed-off bat, <laughs> which I've never seen. I, I Why would like, you I'm saw like, it off? I was like, I was like you Dice said used it. to make us weapons. We used to have all kinds yeah. of weapons. He's oh, crazy, too. A shiv, basically. Oh, and, yeah. And I go, oh, my God. Hey, what happened to the rest of the bat? And she goes... Well, it's for like coyotes and stuff. Yeah, like, like coyotes. <laughs> and this fucking you're guy. Just, you're gonna, <laughs> and whoever the fuck throws popcorn it's, gets a bat. It, 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 Mr. Popcorn. <laughs> it's for coyotes and Mr. Popcorn over here. <laughs> 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 fucking Jiffy Pop over here is a problem. And I had I a lot, lot of questions and she had answers for all of them. <laughs> oh, well, I just it. saw it off. You, know, you could swing it faster if it doesn't weigh as much. I'm like, oh. What's this? So I. Didn't realize you have a history in organized crime. I'm obsessed. To God, I don't remember any of this. I just blacked, blacked out because I panicked. I panicked. And it was literally like Somebody three of us. Somebody made me get in my car. Like, yeah, I it was like three of us being like, oh, no, it's just it's ignore the guy. It doesn't matter. <laughs> just try to drive away and shake it off. Like, that didn't happen. Oh, that didn't happen. so funny. And when, people go, why, why did she quit smoking? <laughs> <laughs> she should keep smoking. Yeah, she I needs it. So I think bad. she needs it. Yeah, yeah. The sawed off. When you said sawed off bad, I was like, this must just be a weapon that I'm unaware of. I was like, doesn't Car, I'll bats. show you after. <laughs> yeah. Someone, we used to put tape around them. Like, give me one of these. I need one of yeah. these. Yeah. No, this is this is urban warfare. <laughs> yeah, a girl from the south couldn't use something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Fall apart. You use hands. your southern charm. Yeah. Ah, so well, we don't yeah. need to be throwing things around here. Why don't we throw popcorn? Yep. Mr. Popcorn Man. <laughs> Possibly, you know, use some sort of a hairpin shiv. <laughs> give it, yeah, like yeah, a yeah, yeah. Knife <laughs> shank. style. Break off one of my acrylics and stab sure. it back. <laughs> To the cotillion, sir. <laughs> Whatever it is. So. I'm not going to worry about that. I'll worry about that tomorrow. Damn yeah, you, Tom. Tomorrow's another day. You've get, there's a man dead at your feet. I'll worry about that in the morning. That's why. <laughs> she did say that to with a to. man dead. I just watched Gone with the Wind with my mom. <laughs> she killed a guy, and then she got, the, the, um, Olivia de Havilland, uh, uh-huh. well, I can't think of her character's name, but she goes, we should pull it. We should get this out. And she goes, I'll think about that tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. And I'm like, wait a minute. There's a dead Yankee. So smart. <laughs> Ah, it's a genius. <laughs> Foyer, you gotta get, get this out of here. I'll be up early for church. Feminine no. wiles is how that body is gonna get cleaned <laughs> so up. So good. Not feminine wiles. I'm gonna go think about that today. I'll think about that tomorrow. <laughs> fixing your so good. <laughs> she was fixing her hair. It was great. Blood streaks going around. Oh, I love yeah, that Southern's story. Southern's different, but they still have... Oh, they'll get anger violent. in there. My, yeah. uh, I, I, speaking of just like driveway violence, my, uh, I hope it's okay I like to say one of the best, podcast. one of the best violence, one of the best types there. of violence. <laughs> it is. My, uh, it doesn't have to be domestic. That's really the slogan we've been right. working with. <laughs> Try and get this thing promoted and off the ground, but. A little rebrand. That's all it needs. Violence. Not always domestic. <laughs> driveway, 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 driveway violence. <laughs> <laughs> my dad, my, I think it was like my great aunt. My dad grew up in Arab, Alabama. It's, well, apparently I'm sorry. It was like, uh, sorry, say that again? Uh, Arab? Apparently, apparently it was a misprint. It was supposed to be Arad. And on their paperwork, somebody misspelled it. It's the word Arab. 
But, but you pronounced. say a pronounced a rap. Like They'll freak father. out if you say it, Eric. Because that's our word. They one hundred percent. They don't like that. Okay. He grew up in this tiny town in Alabama, and his I guess my great aunt or great great aunt had this like really abusive husband beat the shit out of her, and everybody knew it, and it happened all the time. And he kept gun. They used their dishwasher for guns, like shit. Like he like used oh, it as like, a, gu- yeah, like yeah. a gun rack. Yeah. And one day he like came home really drunk and was beating her, and she shot him in the face in the driveway. And a cop pulled up, and he was just like, "Was he?" fucking with you and she was like yeah and he was like all right all good and they just put it to bed and nobody ever talked about it again man that's right. first of all Southern that's a diy welcome back <laughs> to <laughs> driveway <laughs> violence <laughs> <laughs> it's a niche podcast but southern women <laughs> serving up driveway justice <laughs> <laughs> we, we could not believe it there was a hundred million views i went inside the very first and i made episode. some fried chicken and some lemonade <laughs> Boys, come in, we'll talk more well <laughs> I guess you could say he fucked around and found out. <laughs> My great aunt was the first person to say fuck around and find out. Wow, interesting origin story on that phrase. Are we phrase. related? <laughs> I love this. Am I your long-lost Yankee cousin? That's what yeah. it feels like. It felt like the same time in driveway justice. <laughs> hey, man, driveways are tricky. Yeah. You got to get in them and get out of them, and people are the fucking way. There's no Sorry. reason to be stopping someone. <laughs> On a driveway. Not with popcorn. No, not, not with, with a dishwasher violence. filled with <laughs> guns. Listen, if if you're going to domestic violence, which I do not recommend, yeah. that's my personal that's stance. Wow. He's that's... always said that I like if that about him. If you're going to domestic violence, okay. do not find yourself on a driveway. <laughs> it's one of the oldest rules. Women really thrive, thrive in the drive. And thrive. Thrive. It thrive. was number thrive eleven. Is the better word. Thrive, thrive in the, in the drive. drive. The original commandments. It was number eleven, and they ended up saying it's not an even number. That's gonna be but weird. It's not. If, if you hit your woman, do was not find on yourself the, on a driveway. Was that on the tablet that broke yep. in history of the world? It, it chipped it off the bottom. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I think I, I honestly this. think if you had a podcast called Driveway Violence, this thing could take I mean, off. That might be the one yeah. we were talking about it before. Because that she doesn't, be she one. listens to podcasts, but she doesn't have a podcast. Yeah. And I said, "Well, Misery loves company. Let's get you a podcast." I know yeah. it's fun. I mean, you guys have fun doing this. Do you like it? Yeah. We we have fun. Yeah. We, we I'll tell you this. It depends on the guest, really. There you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So because, this is fun. So this is brutal <laughs> for me. <actually. laughs> I look down and he's like, he's like banging a hole in his leg. He's cutting. You're like he's cutting. <laughs> No, you're really cool to have on. I like you a lot. But yeah, it's, it's uh, very few guests we get excited about. Oh, really? That makes me Rick, definitely. Long, Me, I'm a, a little more. Yeah, for a long time, <laughs> I just, uh, I would veto people. I love that. Like, they would be, the like, be like, hey, we uh, book so and so. I'd be like, oh, I can't do that. That's not happening. No, well, I have really bad diarrhea. Like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I absolutely have refused for a solid decade at this point to interview <gasps> Josh Nasser on this podcast. <laughs> And he, he, dude, you could make fun of me. It would be funny. I go, I will never sit in a room and listen to you talk. So he's the questions. one asking. He's like approaching. He you wanted about in. This. Um, he yeah, got mad. He had a bunch asked. He's yeah, one of, he's one of the people. That's he'll be like, dude, you can't just talk shit about me and not let me on the podcast. I'm like, that's what's so great about podcast. So he's listening to this right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's you what's can. great you can about actually podcast. Do that. Uh, <laughs> there was no set rules. <laughs> you, like I wouldn't have I mean, a problem these, having these them on behind the camera stooges are going to edit out the gold. <laughs> Believe you me. What you don't hear is the best stuff that we're going to do, but... Yeah, I would have had him on and made fun of him. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's... Yeah. Because we did it with a bunch of comics. Yeah. And, and it always, like, Alan Bursky would Don't even him. bring Bursky's name up. <laughs> Which I'll do to and him. And I love Alan Bursky, but we tortured him. I love because it. Because he I, was too easy to torture. He's just a... He's a dreadful old person. <laughs> Who does <laughs> horrific old people things? I love the way you feel about the elderly. Oh, they're the worst. <laughs> it's really coming across. We are going to run an old folks home my, for comics, Rick and I, and then yeah. we're going to interview them. On my whole stance <laughs> is that we don't, there's no need for the term elderly. It should never get to that point. Ooh, we no. just got to get rid of them. What What's the oldest age you'd like to be? As a comic or as a person? That's a very good question. Uh, what, Like, how old do I want to be? to get well, no, to well, or how old do I think people should be allowed to live to how old do you personally want to live to before you're like I'll call it I, if if I can't die on my 83rd birthday wow in so Shamu's tank at SeaWorld and I know by then Shamu will no longer be there but we're gonna figure <laughs> out a way to get the orca in the tank 
<laughs> we're going to bring the kids back to a field okay. trip day. Oh, I love this. I, if I have to pay for this, this is what we do. Yeah. <laughs> I got a bat to I'm help you get fall, there. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be wheelchair, in a wheelchair. I will oh. not need a wheelchair. I will be in a wheelchair. Okay. It'll okay. be similar. It'll almost be an homage to OJ and the Naked Gun. Oh, God. Okay, that, I like we'll go this. down the staircase. Argus flip, will narrate it. Flip in. <laughs> Argus will be 170. <laughs> But he's found that the the fountain of youth is the right. facelift. Yes. As long as you keep pulling it tight, you can't die. <laughs> so I'm getting this tightened up six, seven times a day. <laughs> <laughs> right now it is 2078. <laughs> and Mitch has a great show for you. At that point, they've cloned Mitzi, and yeah, there's yeah. actually a new Mitzi running things. <laughs> These bruises under my eyes are so normal. You, you, really are, you really are okay to be 83. Wow. I, 83 I feels old to me. I don't want to go yeah, even Tate, close to it. Guys, I, yeah. I have been unhappy and angry for my whole life. And I feel like that's going to feel right when 83? I get to 80, 82. 82. 82. So I want to live okay. 82. Because when I'm 82, I'm going to really... like I, I talk about it a little bit on stage, but I've entered my Grodin phase. Okay. I love and so I'm I'm really trying to model my life after Charles Grodin. The greatest that. of all time. And I just, I can't, I don't care anymore. Do you ever and see I, The Lonely Guy? Yeah. It's one of my favorite movies. I've never seen it. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's a great line in there where Charles Grodin, uh, Steve Martin says, why don't you take a nap? And he goes, because then I just wake up and realize I'm me again. And I can only do that once a day. That's so perfect. Dude, it's, he's just so dark. Oh, that's so perfect. So but ridiculous. So you want to like go all I the way through 82. Are we saying that the it still Shamu feel murder right suicide is happening on the 83rd birthday? On the 83rd birthday. I like that. Murder suicide. Um, yeah, and, uh, I like that. Also, there's a lot of homages in this death. An homage to Gallagher. I will be providing the front rows with uh, Poncho. ponchos because I still have mine from when he worked here. I will no be, That's I will crazy. be pulling an explosive belt. And <laughs> I will be blowing up Shamu and myself. Okay, onto the. So this is like you're doing something for you know humanity as what well. I, That's here. true. What yeah. I realized is obviously with the banning of. Of they the can't cage you. They can't cage you. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably gonna have to pretend I'm filming a movie about <laughs> what happened at SeaWorld, and that's how I get the whale in the tank. Yes. And then I bring the kids in. We're gonna do a shoot today. <laughs> You're gonna see how bad all this is. <laughs> Sasha Baron <laughs> <laughs> Blackfish too. Yeah. yeah. Electric boogaloo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Electric boogaloo is good. <laughs> And Wait, if we have, if we have any sort of trouble getting the rights to that, we'll we'll just go with the search for Curly's gold. That's uh, also perfect. an acceptable perfect. sequel name. <laughs> Do you want to live a long time? I've al I've always felt in my heart that's like seventy five. I'm feels not even like that sweet high. Spot. Where do you want to be? I think I'm 65. And 65. at that point, I'm going to move down to Florida and start doing cocaine and all Love kinds it. of drugs that I never did. Uh, you know, hair on all of it. Hair on. <laughs> Damn, you really are on the like streets. <laughs> it's it's just like got that. that hey Ron, Who's huh? got the hay Ron? This guy named Ron has the best hair. <laughs> hey Ron. Hey Ron. Hey Ron. Uh, yeah, I want to do all of that. Like, and live in the villages in Florida with those crazy people on golf carts. Have you seen them? Yes, that sounds pretty damn it's fun. Very exciting. So, 65, move down there, do that for a couple years. So I probably won't live through it. I, pr I definitely have heart disease. Okay, so yes. we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So then we die while we're like like on coke or you yeah. know you big OD at sixty five yeah that's, that's pretty fun. cool that's a fun accidental death. Yeah. overdose she yeah she could have kept going <laughs> it was an accident unfortunately she was also it. cool so sometimes they go <laughs> can't keep a bad bitch down <laughs> yeah, because I, what am I going to be doing stand up at sixty I can, Eleanor I don't know. I'm telling it's you I could see about. you. after this trucker show takes off you're not wrong it's going to be we huge. do twenty years later. Now okay. you're a real Rue McClanahan. Okay. You know what I mean? You're in the 18-wheeler, and sure, like you're I'm a grandma. <laughs> well, I already feel like Rue. <laughs> the thing about Rue, and a lot of people don't know this, we were at B. Arthur's. <laughs> I believe it was her 68th birthday. And... I was getting ready to do a thunder bump of cocaine <laughs> okay. with a young and very impressionable Marky Post. There you go. <laughs> and Lara Cat had told me a thing or two, so one thing leads to another. 
As the kids say now, hashtag bosom buddies. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> As the kids say now, <laughs> as ten the years too late. Are saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. The as the millennials have just started saying, <laughs> yeah, everything's just started. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag MySpace. That's so good. <laughs> oh, I love Wait, it. <laughs> how long did you work at Zanies? It was like two years or something. Oh, like that's that. it. That was all. Okay. But I, but it was like I. Why did I stop? I left. I don't remember. I really don't remember. you saw a terrible comic and you're like, this I, was I like, gotta I, fix this. I, I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, I, I can't do this. Here. I can't do this I again. I don't feel depressed Another enough. Barry Diamond weekend? <laughs> Forget it. I'll be walking in Memphis. Oh, shit. I did yes. go to Memphis a lot. I did a lot of stand-up there. I just want to jump in. It's 9.15. You said you had 9.30 down the street. I do, yes. Yeah, yeah. Where? Oh, thank the you. Laugh no, I've got one at the improv. Oh. I found the corner. Beep out when she said improv. We don't want people Sorry. thinking. Oh, my God. He just sent me running the light. Who did? J Jeff Danish. <laughs> <laughs> you know you take sweets, all right? What's that? To, oh, you're going to the improv? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm taking, don't I'm, I've go got to, a, I'm, I'm taking a lift. Eleanor, she knows what she's doing. I'm just right. saying No, no, this. no, but you're right. That's the correct route. Because people, uh, like Anthony Jeselnik, we were doing, He, we both did a show. I went on after him. Mm-hmm. Uh, or I might have been in the lab. He was in the whatever or something, mm. whatever. Somehow we were both at the improv. I was standing in the like the front talking to people. He walked by. He said, I'm going to head to the store. I said, all right, I'll see you over there. No big deal. He left. Yeah. I didn't think nothing of it. I stayed talking to somebody. I not only threw that got here, around. <laughs> Hey, you guys know Rue. <laughs> yes, there we go. The voice is on Eleanor, too. Okay. <laughs> oh. uh, anyway, uh, so I go, he leaves. I was talking to a few people. Then I leave. He got to the store. He walked in. He goes, not only were you here already, you were on stage already. That's why. He goes, how, how the fuck did you get here? Yeah, and I go, oh, I have a helicopter, just because I I thought he was kidding. Yeah, and then yeah. he goes, and I go, what do you, you? Did you really just get here? Like he goes, yeah, I just, and I go, how did you come? Did you walk? I would have given you a ride. He goes, no, I I went up Crescent. I go, don't you fucked. Don't ever fucking do that. Yeah. Don't ever. You should get here in four to five minutes. He goes, sweets or what's that? <laughs> oh, man. Well, Anthony, I forgot he's New York and moved here. You know, right. so he's just taking the. And and sometimes unless you do the ways, it won't it take won't put you, you up that those way. streets. Yeah. When I see that big, sweet, sweets or hill. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Approaching the store. The <laughs> I, I used to drive here with Joe Diaz and I'd be right. Go, Don't miss that light, cocksucker. Don't miss that light. <laughs> We'll be stuck here for a fucking hour. Don't miss that light. And I'd be like, <laughs> gunning it with like 30 people in the car. Yeah. I love it. You truly have to put the yeah, gas yeah, and the yeah. brake on at the same time to get that thing yeah. going up. <laughs> Grandma driving. Yeah, 100%. Using both feet. Um, <laughs> Crazy. All right, well, we'll let you go do your no, spot. I, oh, but there's so many I'm more so, questions. Well, we I'm didn't even get it. Do you yeah. have things you want to promote? Hell. Follow me on social media. That's important. Well, we know that you're a baby in comedy. Yeah, uh, child. Was your goal to get here and get a reg be a regular? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just from, I mean, from the moment I got here. I didn't, I, but I couldn't even conceive of it before that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was like, that will probably never happen. That's like a really? fun thing. Oh, totally. Like when I first moved here, I was like, I, that seems entirely impossible. And was wow. just uh, really unfamiliar with the process. But truly, I mean, for the first year and a half I was here, I was like, I'll, I won't, I don't think I'll get on one of those stages ever. Wow. Man. And now? And, and then? Now that you're accepted, we think you're cool and funny. Thank yes. You tell us four comics you'd like to see unpassed from. <laughs> I think that's a fair... Every show? Yeah. every show we do this. It's, we, we, we call this, this, this Making it. Enemies. This is, yeah. it's all, this is a segment we do We're all trying the time. to go viral. Everybody. You can do it by race or whatever you want. It's totally up to you. Well, I was going to do it by race. Oh, okay. Gender or non-gender, whatever yeah. you want to do. We know you're from the South. We're open to ideas. Name your least four, your, your four least favorite non-binary comedians. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind just saying it. And just, also, real quick before you go, just tell us your whole stance on 
trans people and children. <laughs> anyway, I, I know you got to get out of here. Yeah. Give us two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't mind. Two uh, full minutes, oh, though. We need. Well, thanks for coming. <laughs> thanks and, for having me, uh, yes. dolls. We'll have you back for a part two. Yeah, we have to do a part two because you're so amazing. Fun. Yeah. This is so fun. And we'll we'll get even deeper into maybe a, a ten people that we'd all <laughs> we'll each put together I'll, a list. If you have me back, I'll come back with ten. Nice. All right. <laughs> really? Now yes. we're talking. Uh, I love all right. it. Thanks, guys. Thanks I'm Rick Ingram. Me. You can see me nowhere. Eleanor, where are you at? I'm nowhere. No, I'm everywhere. Uh, I don't know, Rick. Where am I going to be? I this, is think. Out, uh, yeah, I this is coming out. Yeah, I don't know when this is coming out. Make it evergreen. Just, just give go, some broad uh, yeah, dates. Yeah, just go on my uh, website, Eleanor J. Kerrigan, but check out No Country for Old Women on YouTube. I just love keep that. checking that out. That's and I my think special. If you want to check out uh, the cornhole show. It's probably on the YouTube. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing wardrobe cornhole for them show. now. Oh, damn. I have no, I'm just, yeah, that, I took princess. over. Cornhole the is princess. my only fans, but also we did that yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn it. No cornhole. Corn on women. a dog. What was Mine it? Mine too. Corn on a dog. What was Boone shot? Corn on the dog. Ooh. They got corn on the dog. We got oh, corn God. on the dog. Got corn on the cop. Uh, so good. Rest in perversion, Boone Shakalaka. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, so come to the comedy store. Really, Laura, that's so what, what are your socials did you say oh already? yes at laura peak l-a-u-r-a-p-e-e-k damn comedy the that's what they call her the dolphin <laughs> you laura guys have e always e called e it e <laughs> Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, that good. Look, look as good at the voices oh, all of a sudden. Excited. She's praising everybody else's voices. Uh-oh. Uh, so thanks for listening to Doing Voices with... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and check out Driveway Justice. Justice. <laughs> Driveway Coming Violence soon. is Driveway actually violence. the name of the Coming show. Coming soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Good to be here. <laughs>